Hello, welcome to Ruby on Rails from the Virtual Training Company. My name is Al Anderson. I will be your instructor for this series of videos covering Ruby on Rails. This is an introductory type of course. We won't get into too much advanced material down the road, but you will be able to generate a web application at the end of watching all of these videos. A web application is a program that generally resides on a server and is accessed from a web browser such as Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Safari. On the server exists a set of program files, whether they be scripted files or compiled files, that generate HTML and JavaScript that the browser downloads and views. Most of the time, these scripts interact with a database, whether it's on that server or another server, to generate information from a database. We will, through this video, like I said a few minutes ago, actually create a web application that will use a MySQL database to do some very simple interactions with that database via a web browser. Ruby on Rails is a relatively new framework for developing web applications. We'll get into depth in, in later videos about where Ruby on Rails came from and how it actually works. It's based on the Ruby language, which is not actually very new language. It's been around since the 90s. A gentleman in Japan developed it. It's a very powerful, pure, object-oriented language that's relatively easy to learn. It may look a little bit difficult at first, but very quickly you'll see that it's an elegant, easy-to-use language. And we'll cover in depth the Rails framework, how things actually go together, uh, how they interact, and, and what the Rails framework actually is. And the Rails framework is just a series of Ruby scripts to use to create web applications, and a lot of the work is done for you in that framework, making rapid web application development very, very straightforward. My name, again, was Al Anderson. You can contact me if you have questions at alavtc at gg.com. I welcome any type of questions or concerns or issues you have with these series of videos. And I'm looking forward to going, going through the rest of the videos with you and hope to see you soon.